Hi, this is Eitan Shalom, and I'm here with my patient who is, plays golf, and uh, uh, he uh, recently developed pain in his biceps. And here I have uh, released the two different heads of the biceps, the long head and short head. And um, a minute ago, it was really releasing a lot. So there we go. You could see that that's the muscle twitch response, but what's interesting is I'm getting that response when I'm needling into the tendon because that, that so-called muscle twitch response will also occur with the fascia. And how do I know that? Because I discovered that when needling myself and I was had a needle in on my sacrum. Actually, sorry, it was in my glute and it was just a fraction, fraction of an inch under the skin, and I got a huge, a huge um, muscle twitch response. So those are the two heads of the biceps, long and short head. And then here I'm needling into the belly of the biceps. I've already uh, released the motor point of the biceps, so there's the belly of the biceps. And um, I haven't done it yet. I'm about to uh, needle the lateral epicondyle as well. So that's what I wanted to show you here. Just a quick um, <clears throat> idea about how you can use dry needling for a shortened biceps muscle <coughs> um, with a potential uh, uh, tendinosis of the biceps tendon. Thank you.